Um, I've been asked to do this video um, by quite a few people, most recently by Emily Landgraf, and uh, I promised that I would do it, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. She has asked, her and some other people have asked me to make a video about this piercing here, my Medusa piercing, and that would be like a five second video. So I'm going to just do a general Q&A about my piercings, um, things that I've been asked, uh, pain, healing, and things like that. And um, I'll start with her questions. So she says, um, I haven't seen one like yours before. I'm not quite sure what she means by that, except that I've got two. And that was because my first one was pierced right here. And that was professionally done um, as, you know, it's quite low as you can see there and so I was like well I have plenty of room I'm always looking for something that's not like other people and so I decided to pierce it up here myself and so that's what I did um, how it was done originally it's done as it always is with clamps and then they mark you and then they pierce you I got it done at the same time as I got this and I got my first vertical um, when I did it I do it like I do all my piercings just kind of hold it and push and wait <laughs> wait for quite a while and um yeah it was just i just pierced it like i normally pierce it it's not really a big deal um what kind of jewelry i wear it's just a a librette post as you can see here really unattractive but it's just a plain Woo! yeah it's just a plain post um Pros and cons, pain 1 through 10, and healing time. Okay, so I can close that and get that unflattering light out of my face. So healing time is, is again, average. There's nothing spectacular about it. Pain, God. Expensive selfie stick, and it doesn't even stay up. Oh, it's this part of it that doesn't stay up. What the hell? We can go down. There we go. Ha. Huh. <laughs> anyway, um, pain being here and close to your, your gums and your lips and your nose, it's pretty pinchy. Uh, definitely less than septum. Septum is a piercing that I would never, ever, 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 ever get again if I lost my piercing. I, I think that the septum hurt worse than anything else and I would definitely never, ever get it again. I'm just trying to find a good fucking position for this stick. I'm sorry. Ugh. Ugh. So I have a hard time sitting right now because my tailbone's been causing me great pain and so I have to sit really stupid. Um, and then of course I'm never looking directly at the camera because cameras, it's always... I try not to do vertical video but they should definitely make a camera that's somewhere where you can be looking at the camera. Anyway. Um, so yeah. Uh, healing time wasn't anything great. Uh, pain wasn't anything great. Top lips swelled up just a little bit. It was it was pretty it was pretty alright. Nothing memorable. Um, I'll start from the top and go down as far as pain and healing and all that goes. I guess um, this one eyebrows always pretty pain free. There was absolutely nothing there. Went in healed, no issues, no swelling, no nothing. These two, same thing. Uh, it was a little pinch when they went in. I'm actually probably going to remove these soon because they they just, I don't know, they're irritating me. If I choose to, I might do one in the middle myself later on, but I'm really not happy with them. Haven't been for a long time, but got them professionally done, which is why I'm not happy with them. But as you can see, like the bars are totally not the right size and they're just kind of wonky and I don't know. But the pain wasn't too great healing wasn't anything big this as well it just went in pain was nothing it was just pretty easy it healed really easy no rejection and no nothing and I hit it a few times because I'm rubbing my eyes all the time heavy makeup falls into it not really an issue septum was fucking horrible would never do it again it hurt so bad the healing was so bad you can't do this you can't rub your nose you can't scratch your nose you can't hit it you can't touch it and the smell as your tissue and your you know your skin tries growing back you've got that dead skin smell for at least a good year or two um and it smells like 
rotting flesh. It's really fucking gross. And I would take my septum ring out and I would scrub and clean the holes. And even now I, I go in there and I, I clean it every single day. And um, I don't smell it anymore, but I had to look it up and, and found out that's what it was. It's the smell of your skin healing on the inside and it smells rancid. These as well um, smell almost as bad as this. Uh, and I brush my teeth all the time. I'm clean. It's nothing like that. It's nothing having to do with your BO or your cleaning. It's just your body healing. So I still sometimes have issues with these. And then it's right under your nose. It's this one up here that um, that still sometimes has a little bit of gunk on it. Kind of like the gunk you get um, on your ears. Ear piercing gunk. And it's kind of like that but around that. And it smells really bad. So I'm always scrubbing it and scrubbing it and scrubbing it. And I hope that one day it'll stop. Maybe in a couple years time. I don't know. But they're completely healed. All the being around the mouth. Um, take them out for a day and they'll start to close up already. Um cheeks are a big one because everybody told me don't do your cheeks don't get your cheeks done because you know they'll flame up and they'll cause big big marks and then they'll pus up and they'll be really hard to heal and take care of and finally I braved it and then they said oh of course also my face was too fat and I wouldn't look good and my face is always going to be fat but I think they look great like they're um, the top of my piercing list now um I couldn't even picture myself without them I love them to death and they've given me really no issues. Day three was really bad. They, my, I was like, you know, like chipmunk cheeks. And I had some shit on the inside of this one. Like I just hit myself. I misjudged and I just smacked. I don't know if you saw that. Um, this right here at night, I will stab myself in the face because I, I put my hand under my face like this to sleep. And um, I hit myself on a nightly basis. And this one is fine as you can see. This one's got a little mark on it. It's got that, which isn't too bad. And all I do is I fill up a cotton ball with um, salt water and I put it around them every day. And it'll pretty much go away in about a day. I've had no big issues, no leaking, no nothing like that. Um, this one here, this one, uh, I liked the vertical because when I first got it, it was like, not many people had. I, I actually hadn't seen anybody in person with a vertical before. And, um, like, I thought it was funny as I go, I closed my mouth and it looks like my mouth was pierced shut. You know, like that. And back in the day, like, I'd go to Walmart and people, oh, are your lips actually pierced shut? And I thought it was so funny to just, you know, do that to people. But, um, now, of course, it's very, very, very common. But I chose that for that reason. And because I'd had the normal lip rights before, I didn't like them and it turns out the way this is supposed to be pierced is like quite front forward which I think looks really stupid so I pierced mine further back I have a hole right here a scar where it used to come out right there and I thought it looked absolutely ridiculous and so I pierced it further back and then my body tries to push it out quite often so this one does try to reject it. it'll pierce straight out the it'll try to uh push it straight out the front or push it straight out the back and right now it's all right but normally uh it'll start to reject where I could feel the bar almost against my gums and so I take it out let it heal and pierce it again this one's giving me the least amount of trouble but so that you can actually see the bar I've got to put a banana bar in when I do that it moves and it makes it look like it's crooked or the ones around it are crooked but no nah, oh well and these ones I pierced not too long ago I've got my proper jewelry in now, not the ones I'm going to stay with because they're still, you know, trying to heal, but I will end up changing these to something at some point. And I think they're just small little nothings. Um, obviously my swelling's gone down because I've got a lot of bar, which I don't like. I hate people that have that look. I think that's just messy and uh, most people have it here and it's like that. I'm like, really, can you not see that your bar's sticking halfway out of your face? Maybe it's just me being like a piercing elitist or something, but I really don't think it looks good if you have piercings. And unless you're in the middle of healing, like I am right now, you shouldn't really have your bars jutting out of your skin. It should be flush. That's how it looks nice. It, jewelry doesn't cost a lot. Even I can afford it. So there's really no excuse not to get proper fitting jewelry. But again, that's just me. Um... What else? Uh, my tongue, I've done myself. 
Uh, I have a pretty good size one in now. Bigger. I've had this size for years and years and years. I've I've had three in at once, um, and then more recently I just had the tip in this one. That one, the tongue, I didn't like getting it pierced originally in the back because it swelled up. You can't eat, you can't talk, you. And then when I take this one out because it's so big and it's so heavy, when I don't have it in, I have a really big lisp because my tongue's just free floating in my mouth and I can't really talk. Um, and so everybody likes to make fun of me when I remove that piercing. But um, that was pretty painful. I, I didn't like it. Piercing the tip of the tongue is not really a big deal. Piercing the middle was kind of uh, but the uh, the back of the tongue was was pretty horrible. Like I'd wanted venom bites like to, um, but then uh, I don't want to go through the pain. Uh, I had actually wanted uh, snake eyes, which I thought was cool, where it's, you pierce it like this. But um, feeling your tongue in your mouth, it would hit your teeth, and is a piercing that most shops won't do because it's just stupid. <laughs> like it, it. It will interfere with everything and the healing will be really bad and it might look cool but it's just not a proper or a really good idea and then the way that your tongue moves and you've got this solid bar going across the tip it'll stop your tongue from moving the way it needs to move and so all around it's just not a good idea but it looks nice but i wouldn't get it anyway i've had my smiley done up here took it out because when i met logan he used to like to suck on it and he almost ripped it out of my out of my um gums I did that one myself. That was very stingy, very scary because your webbing is really fragile and thin. But I did it, no big deal. I mean, the skin's so thin. If you're careful, you can do it without any big issues. Just make sure that your bar or your hoop isn't too big because then it'll get caught. And also with these, um, the hoop would get caught with these. So it's either this or that. So I chose these. Um, belly button. Belly button's not really a big issue. Uh, mine wasn't pierced right when I got it done and uh, it's a bit too low and I've just not really, I don't really bother with it because I don't show my stomach so I don't really see the point. Um, I did my VHC myself and uh, that, it took me three tries to get it right because your skin kind of moves around a bit down there and stuff. If you don't know what a VHC is, look it up, I'm gonna explain it. But uh, the skin moves around and it, it was kind of hard to get it straight or get it right. But I finally did. I loved it. Didn't do anything for me. You know, women say, oh, I had orgasms every time I walk. And it, it did this and it did that. It did nothing at all for me. It was just something that I liked. I liked the accent down there. I thought it looked pretty to have something there. But um, then I removed it. And, you know, I removed it when I got pregnant. And never put it back. Um, nipples I got done, uh, those were fucking hell. Really did not like that at all. She did it, she did me wrong to start with. Um, but aside from that, it was just really painful. <laughs> and I would not get those again. That's why I haven't gotten them again. And then since I don't show my boobs, I really don't see the point in suffering for a part of my body I don't even really like. Um, I've gotten the tops of my hands pierced before. That was... Not really a big deal, I didn't really feel anything. I had a ladder up my arm. Um, I mean, of course I don't have it anymore, but I have. I still have the scars. So I'll put a picture in here. And again, before anybody was getting piercings like that, or not, not before anybody did, but before it was common to see it was like oh yeah you've got that i've got that or i've seen somebody who has it or i've heard of that when i did it even the shop owner had never heard of a piercing like that he had never done it and i got the whole thing done for i think fifty dollars or ninety dollars or something something really cheap because he wanted it in his portfolio and it didn't hurt he was just like boom 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 all the way up and then had the needle in and then went back and then put the put the jewelry in and then i looked for a ribbon to tie it up it was just that I was working at the time at Walmart and I had to have my arm bound so that I didn't rip out my piercings and it just never healed properly. And uh, I know that they're like play piercings, you're not supposed to be kept. But of course we didn't know that at the time, we thought that they were permanent and um, I ended up just ripping them out piece by piece. 
because I had a thing for ripping my piercings out instead of just taking them out. And so that was gone. Um, I've had this pierced up here. That kind of hurt. Not anything memorable. I've had my chest done. I've had this, this, and then my sternum. Sternum really hurt. Chest kind of hurt. Rejected constantly. My body did not like anything on my chest. Uh, dermals as well. This is the only dermal I've got left. I had I had one here, one here, one in the middle, and then I've gotten this one, this one done twice, and my body's like, nope. I had a dermal up here in my forehead, and my body's like, nope. So I ripped, I ripped this one out, and I ripped all these out. Like I actually took a razor blade and cut them out of my skin, and um, that didn't really hurt. It didn't, yeah, it didn't actually hurt at all. It didn't get infected. It didn't heal. You can't even, didn't heal. Didn't not heal. You can't even see a scar here showing that I had a dermal in my forehead. I mean. This is not really a big deal. Nothing's really hurt me um, at all, except for pretty much nipples and my septum. Those are the ones that I remember being extremely painful and hard to heal. Everything else is just by the books, pretty much. You get it. It's a little tingly, uh, nothing outrageous, and you take care of it. Wash it, salt water, don't really touch it leave it alone. Um, you don't need to rotate your piercings like they say you do because if you're cleaning it, it should clean all that out. Rotating it only hurts and it could cause bits of shit to get inside your skin, which might actually make it worse because I know a lot of people were told, you know, always make sure to rotate your piercings, but that's actually not a good idea. So I personally don't rotate them. I just break them free from any crust that might be around them, get rid of the crust, salt water it, and that's it. Um, maybe move them in and out to break the crust free if I need to like if if this is stuck and I can't open my mouth because I can feel it pushing then I'll you know pop it and let it move but aside from that just leave it alone as much as possible and you should be all right then again I'm not a piercer so anything I say has to be taken with a grain of salt because I'm not a professional all I know is that I pierce myself and this is what I do things I've read about been told about or have experienced myself um, so don't go and say, well, I got this piercing done and I didn't do that. And it was all Raven's fault because I'm, I'm not a professional. I just do my own shit, but I was asked to make this video. So I thought I would make it. Um, if you want to get this done double like me, you've got to make sure the first one is low enough and the top one is high enough, but you have to make sure you've got enough room here. Cause some people are very narrow and it won't look right. Just get one in the middle and it shouldn't be a big deal. Make sure your webbing on the inside, of course, is avoided so you don't rip it or split it. Uh, like my webbing is right here. And so this is right up against it. And um, you, you know, whether you like a certain piercing or not, you've always got to make sure that your body is able to take it. Whether it's, you know, you've got enough space or, you know, it, it's proportionate, it looks good. Um, Sometimes you might want a lot of lip rings, but you've got really tiny lips and your lips will pretty much be swallowed by the jewelry. You've got to think of what would look right for you as an individual, not just what looks right because somebody else has it and their anatomy is different than yours. Um, you have to take a lot of things into account before you get a piercing if you want it to properly look good or not. And don't just say, oh, that looks nice. I'm going to get it because it might not look as good on you it might look better on you. You know, you've just got to really kind of look at yourself and see, you know, or Photoshop, <laughs> Photoshop it onto you. If you want something Photoshopped and you want me to do it, I can do that for you as well. Um, you would have to send me a clear picture of your face, face forward and not heavily edited or not really small, just a normal photo like this and ask me, to Photoshop a piercing on you somewhere and I can do my best. I'm pretty good at it. So I can do that for you and help you if you want. Otherwise, I hope this helped. I know it wasn't just about this, but again, I thought the video would be way too short if it was just about that. And I've been wanting to update you guys on my cheek piercings anyway. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you around soon. Take care and thanks for your questions.